نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شخلی صدری و یسرلی امری و احلل اقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی و جعلی وزیر من آخلی اللہم فکرنا فی الدین آمین سنو آمین السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ ٹرانسلیشن آف سورہ البقرہ ورس تھرٹی وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ وَا اَنْدْ اِذْ وَنْ قَالَ This is a perfect word for the third person masculine singular. He said, Rabbuka, ra ba wow. Rabu means to make something grow, flourish, or prosper. Rab is an attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rab means the Lord, the sustainer. Rabbuka, kaf subarka, is a possessive noun for the second person masculine singular. Rabbuka, your Lord, your sustainer. Lil malaikati, lam zirli, for, to. Malaika is the plural form of angels. Inni. Inna means indeed, for sure, no doubt. And the ya here is, uh, is the pronoun for the first person singular. Inni means indeed I, for sure I. Ja'ilun, jim ain la, to make, to create, or to place. Ja'ilun is the it is in the nominative masculine and it means the person who creates who makes or who places in the jailun indeed i am going to make i am going to place fi in al arzi in the earth khalifa ho lam fa Khalifa means behind, at the back. Khalifa in Arabic refers to a person who stays behind the ruler, the king, the leader. So Khalifa actually means the wise, the subordinate or the assistant. I am going to make what? A Khalifa a vice, an assistant, a subordinate. Khalu, they said, it is a perfect word for the third person masculine, plural. They said, and who said? The angel said, A taj'alu. Jin ayn la, mean lam, means to make or to place. The ta at the start shows that it is an imperfect word for the second person masculine singular. Atajalu, will you make, will you place, will you create fi ha? Fi means in ha it. This is a pronoun which is pointing towards the earth. Mayufsidu, man, the one, or who. It is a relative pronoun. Yufsidu, fa si dal. Fasada means to cause corruption or to create malice or to create disturbance. The ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect word for the third person masculine singular because they are uh, there is nothing, no words to indicate that it is a plural form. Yufsidu, he will. Spread corruption. Fiha in it. Wayasfiku. Wa and yasfiku. Seen fa kaf. To shed. To flow. 
to cause something to be shed or to cause something to flow. Vayasviku, the ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb and the activity is being done by the third person masculine singular. Vayasviku and he will shed. Adema u. Dal mean wow means the blood and this is a plural form. Will shed what? Blood. Wa and nahnu. We. This is a personal pronoun for the first person plural. Wa nahnu and we. Nusabbihu. Seen ba ha. Means to praise, to glorify, or to obey. Show obedience. Noon at the start signifies that it is an imperfect verb for the first person plural. Nusabbihu, we glorify, we praise. Bihamdika, bazir bi, with hamd means the praise. Kapsburka is a pronoun for the second person masculine singular. Bihamdika, with your praise. Wanuqaddisu. Wa and nuqaddisu of dal sin <coughs> means to sanctify or to prove the sanctity or to glorify. Noon at the start shows it is an imperfect verb for the first person plural. Nuqaddisu and we sanctify. We glorify. Laka, lamza ver la, for, kapsa ver ka, you. Ola, he said, inni, indeed I, for sure I, a'lamu. Ain lam mean, ain means to know, to have knowledge. Alif at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb for the first person singular. I know. Ma, what, la, not, ta'lamuna. Ain la mean again means to know, to have knowledge, to have awareness. Ta at the start makes it an imperfect verb. The wa nun signifies that it is for the second person masculine plural. Ta'lamuna, you know. So now repeating the verse again. Wa is qala rabbuka and when said your Lord lil malaikati for the angels in me indeed I ja'ilun am going to place and going to make fil arzi in the earth khalifatun a vice. Qalu they said Ataj alu, will you place, will you make fiha in it mayupsidu, the one or who will spread corruption or will create malice fiha in it. And what malice will he create? Wa yasfikuddima'u, and he will shed blood. Wa nahnu, and we, nusabbihu, we glorify, bihamdika. With your praise, wa nuqaddisulak, and we sanctify for you. Allah, he said, inni, indeed I, alamu, I know, ma la talamun, what you do not know. Verse number 31. Wa allama, and allama. Ain lam mean means to know to have knowledge. Allama is a perfect verb for the third person masculine singular, and the shad on on lam signifies that this activity of this verb, which is being done by the third person, is done in form of precision precision with perfection to the minutest of details and with detailing. Wa'allama and he taught. 
he gave knowledge to whom adama of what al asma akullaha asma is the plural of ism and ism means the noun so this is a plural noun the names kullaha kulla means all ha them summa then this is a conjunction arada hum ain ro wa to display to present to show something to produce something in front of the next person whom them arosa is a perfect verb for the third person masculine singular arosa whom he displayed he presented he showed them ala upon al malaikati upon the angels fatala then adas he said ambiuni noon ba hamza naba means to give news to inform to give awareness ambiuni this is an imperative verb and it is ordering the second person masculine to do what to give information or to give news to whom the ya at the end is for what for the first person singular um be uni give me information or give me news or inform me with what be asma'i bazir bi with asma'i the names haula'i this is a plural demonstrative pronoun a pointing word haula'i means these in kuntum swadifin in if kuntum you are swadifin swad dal of sidq means the truth sadiq is the person who is truthful and sadiqin and sadiqun is plural for that now repeating the verse number 31 again wa allama and he taught who taught allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught adam alayhi salam with perfection and precision and with detail wa allama and he taught adam adam alayhi salam al asma'a the names kullaha all of them summa then arza hum he displayed them who allah subhanahu wa ta'ala displayed showed or presented them alal malaikati to or upon the angels faqala then or thus he said who said allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said ambi uni give me information or give me news or inform me bi asma iha ulai with the names of these in if kuntum you are swadiqin the truthful or the honest qalu they said this is the perfect verb for the third person masculine plural and who said the angels who were ordered by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanaka seen by ha means to glorify subhanaka we glorify whom kaf subur ka you la ilma lana la no or not ilma knowledge lana lam subur la for na is the pronoun for the first person plural lana for us illa except other than ma what allam tana ain la mean means to know or to be taught or to have knowledge ta sabar ta shows that it is a perfect verb for the second person 
masculine singular. Alamta, you have taught. You masculine have taught. Whom? Na. This is the pronoun for the first person plural. Alamta na, you have taught us. Inna ka. Indeed, for sure. Kapsabar ka, you. Anta, you. Al alim ul hakim. Al alim. This is an attribute of Allah, and the root word is ain la mean means to know or to have knowledge. Al alim means what? It is an adjective explaining the attribute of Allah subhanahu wa taala to the ultimate form, and in form of the best form. Al alim. All knowing, Al Hakim, Ha Kafnim, wisdom, Al Hakim, all wise. So now let's repeat the verses and the translation again, so that if any one of you has missed them, they will be able to complete the translation. Wa and is when Ola he said, Rabbuka, your Lord. Lil mala ikati for the angels in me indeed for sure I jarilun I'm going to place I'm going to make fil arzi in the earth halifatun a wise a helper an assistant a subordinate kalu they said ataj alu will you make or will you place fiha in it mayupsidu fiha the one who will spread corruption or create malice, fiha in it, wajasviku, and he will shed adhimau blood. Wanahnu, why we nusabihu, we glorify bihamdika with your praise, wanukatisu, and we sanctify waka for you, hola. He said, Inni, indeed I, Ahalamu, I know more, Ma la ta'lamun, what you do not know. Wa allama, and he taught Adama, Adam alayhi salam, al asma'a, the names, kullaha, all of them, summa, then, aravahum. He presented or he produced or he displayed or he demonstrated or exhibited them alal malaikati upon the angels. Fakala thus or then he said Ambi uni give me information or give me the news be asma'i with the names ha ulai of these. In kuntum swadirin, if you are trust, if you are truthful. Qalu, they said, Subhanaka, glory be to you, la ilma lana. There is no knowledge for us, illa, except ma what alamtana. You have taught us. Innaka. Indeed, you, anta, you, al-alimu, all-knowing, al-hakimu, all-wise. Verse number 33. Qala, he said, ya adamu. Ya is a vocative article which is prefixed ya is a calling word o o adam am be hum noon ba hamza again is a root word to inform to give the news or to give the information am be this is an imperative verb ordering the second person masculine singular give information to whom whom them be asma ihim with their names fa 
Thus, Lama when Amba'a home. Amba'a is a perfect verb by the third person masculine singular. He informed, he gave the news, he gave the information to whom? He, whom, them. He informed them bi asma'ihim with their names. Qala, he said, who said? Allah. Alam, did I not? Aqul, I say, lakum, for you. Inni, indeed I, a'lamu, I know the most. I know, ghaiba, unseen, the hidden, which the person cannot see, feel, hear. Ghaiba samawati, the unseen or the hidden of the heavens. Wal ardi and the earth. Wa alamu and I know. Ma what? Tubduna. Ba dal hamza means to show, to demonstrate, to take out, to reveal. Ta at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb, and the wow noon shows that it is for the second person masculine plural tubduna you produce and show out and you reveal wama and what kuntum you do tatumuna kaf ta mean katama means to conceal to hide and not to let the next person see or realize Ta mixed an imperfect verb and the wow noon shows that it is for the second person masculine plural tatumuna you conceal or you hide. So now let's repeat the verse 33. Qala, he said, Ya Adamu, O Adam, Ambe hum, inform them, give them the news, be asma ihim. Of their names, Falamma. When, thus, when, Amba'ahum. He gave them the news. He informed them. Bi asma'ihim. With their names. Qala. He said, Alam. Did not. Apul. I say. Lakum. For you. Inni. For sure or indeed I. Alamu, I know, Raiba Samawati Wal Ars, the hiddens, the unseen of the heavens and the earth. Wa Alamu, and I know, Ma Tubuduna, what you reveal or you show, Wa Ma Kuntum Taktumun, and what you do, conceal or you hide. Sadaqallahu Azim.